pointed out earlier on the first day. And then we don't hear that truth again. What happens to it? Anybody who's ever watched a building being demolished on purpose knows that if you're going to do this, you have to get at the, at the under infrastructure of a building and bring it down. The entire building has just collapsed as if a demolition team set off. When you see the old demolitions of these old buildings, it's My pulled God. it down on itself and it is not there anymore. At 10.30, I tried to leave the building, but as soon as I got outside, I heard a second explosion and another rumble and more smoke and more dust. I ran inside the buildings, the chandelier shook, and again, black smoke filled the air. Within another five minutes, we were covered again with more silt and more dust. And then a fire marshal came in and said we had to leave because if there was a third explosion, this building might not last. A huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way. And all of a sudden, it was this big explosion. I don't know if it's just, just like what you just seen. That's what we went through before we came out of the building. There was another big, big explosion in the other tower. Now watch this gentleman as he experiences the North Tower collapsing. And ask yourself this question. Is his reaction justified by witnessing what we're told is a gravitational collapse, which happens to be about 1,700 feet away from him? People were just standing around, talking to each other, nodding their heads. you know if it was an explosion or if it was a building collapse? To me it sounded like, it, it, to me it sounded like an explosion, but it was a huge explosion. Chief Albert Turry told me that he was here after the events that took place this morning. He tried to get his men out as quickly as he could, but he said that there was another explosion which took place, and then an hour after there was another explosion in one of the towers here. So according to his theory, he thinks that there were actually devices that were planted in the building. It just went ba-boom, it was like a bomb went off, like, it was like holy hell coming down them stairs. And then when we, go, we got, finally got to the bottom, they were coming out on a mezzanine level there, and another explosion came right from it because everything was flying. Like, it sounded like gunfire, you know, bang, 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 and then, and then all of a sudden, three big explosions. I was about five blocks away when I, I heard uh, explosions, three thuds, and turned around to see the building we just got out of, antenna tip over and fall in on itself. We've heard reports of secondary explosions after the aircraft impacted, whether in fact there wasn't something else at the base of the towers that in fact were the coup de grace to bring them to the ground. As we were getting our gear on and making our way to the stairway, there was a uh, heavy duty explosion. Again, none of these explosions are a part of the official story. Now, compare these explosions uh, to a known explosion on, on, the, on the left here. Upward, outward arching streamers, pyroclastic volumes of dust, symmetrical display like a mushroom. Does it look like a gravitational collapse to you? How could explosives be placed in the World Trade Center Twin Towers with 50,000 occupants not knowing about it? Well, this is the floor plan. Let's enlarge it and take a close look. We note that the core structure, the columns of which are immediately adjacent to almost all of the elevators at the lower levels, certainly. If you had access to the elevator hoistway and you could hack through the two layers of three-quarter inch gypsum board protecting the building from a fire rising up through it, you would have access to the core columns and beams and no one would see you. How about an elevator modernization, which we know was going on the nine months prior to 9-11? Yes, Elevator World March 2001 documents it. In fact, they were in the middle of this modernization. Ace Elevator had the contract. We're not conspiracy theorists, but it's pretty obvious that somebody needs to be asked some very key questions. There are people who noted that the elevators were locked in turn and that there were guards placed at these locked elevators during the modernization. Of course, you would have to have access to security. Securicom was brought in. Who sits on the board of Securicom? Marvin Bush, the younger brother of George Bush. Let's have somebody ask them some questions. Wireless detonation is common in the industry. You don't need miles of wire, and you can detonate them remotely. 
with great flexibility, in fact. Well, but is there a precedent? This tells us that it couldn't have been a controlled demolition because it didn't start at the bottom, right? That's where most controlled demolitions start with buildings. Let's take a look and see if there's another way to do it. The words of a senior blaster. We blow the basement, all the columns in the basement. Then we crack it up at the top to get it started. We go every other floor all the way down. Every explosive has a timer on it. That's why it's controlled. When the columns go, each floor goes down and impacts the one below and keeps going. Mark Loiseau is president of a company called Controlled Demolition. You don't have to go to the top floor. You can go almost anywhere in the structure, and given the right circumstances, you can release all of that stored energy, converting it into what is called kinetic energy. That's energy in motion, and that's what brings the building down. Well, here's a three-story top-down controlled demolition. Let's count them. One, two, three. Now these are high energy explosives, C4 and RDX, very loud booms and very visible flashes. Perhaps the reason thermite was used uh, is because they don't have as loud of uh, these explosions like these high energy explosives. Uh, and they don't have the flashes that these do either. Here's a two 20 story top uh, middle down controlled demolition. You can start demolitions from wherever you would like. Let's look at the North Tower now. What I want to point out to you is that you're going to see some explosions up at the top of the building, curiously enough. And what's going to happen is this entire section is going to telescope such that half of it, its upper half, is destroyed before there's any movement from the jet plane impacts down. Let's take a look. Here's the first evidence of explosion, and then over here, and then the collapsing. Of course, the violent clouds which are emerging even prior to the collapse. We're going to take a close-up look after this second look. A new fuel source, which very well might be jet fuel that wasn't burned. It's getting new oxygen. Let's take a look now closer up. Right away, we're seeing clouds forming up here. Well, wait, the collapse is supposed to be just down here. But we have asymmetrical damage to this building, right? The plane went in one side. And yet, this complete symmetrical uh, collapse, we'll use in quotes from now on. And let's keep going. Unexpected. There's and one more time. In terms of how swiftly it Belts, just like the firemen saw, down. all the way around the building. They came down. The antenna falls about 12 meters uh, first before anything else falls, happened. indicating core column damage first, not trusses pulling away from the perimeter columns. Now take a look at this from the same tower from the bottom, noting the violence underneath the mushroom cloud. The, the collapse is supposed to be occurring way up here, but down below, as you'll see, in this second run, incredible quantities of, of squibs, explosions bursting out. And on the third time, I'd like to direct your attention to this racing series of explosions down to the right side in the corner of this building. About 40 stories below the collapsing building. It gets painfully obvious after a while, doesn't it? entire building has just collapsed as if a demolition team set off when you see the note these multiple nodes of these independent explosions it's a little different than the north the tower buildings. It's My God. Down on but it's still incredibly it the same after a while after all of these uh, explosions developed do we have a straight down symmetrical progression of collapse outside the footprint we had a 207 foot wide building FEMA tells us, and you can see in this document, that we have a 1,200-foot debris field, equidistant around each tower. Asymmetrical damage, symmetrical distribution, all through the site, in fact, and beyond. Do we have squibs, or these mistimed explosions, 
Some believe that these might be appropriately timed explosions. Whatever. <laughs>